Greetings. Greetings. Uncle V coming to you, not live, on Sunday. What is it? Sunday, December 12th. And uh, I woke up this morning and I started thinking about last Friday's Epic Cash Live. And I was, was, was perusing the internet and I came across this. Let me share it with you. It is Albert Einstein. Ego equals one divided by knowledge. The more knowledge, the lesser the ego. Lesser the knowledge, more the ego. That was from Albert Einstein. So let me say that again. Ego equals one divided by knowledge. More the knowledge that you have, the less the ego you end up having. And the lesser the knowledge, it tends to uh, be more ego. So let me uh, stop the screen share. Bear with me here, guys. I'm going to move this over to this screen. I'm going to stop the share and just tell you what's on my mind. So last Friday, uh, we went through, uh, you, you may or may not have seen this, but I'll pull it up anyway. Eric, or Eric, Enrique, whom you know and love him as El McMurphy, uh, every week he goes through this chart. And this chart you can see here, uh, he did a thought experiment starting back in September. How much epic cash could you buy for $1,000? And it shows here it was 32 cent price based on September 3rd. You could get 3,125 coins. Okay. Now, he did the same thing with the top 15 uh, uh, 15, the top 15 cryptos at the time. And every week, every week he has, uh, reported on this. How is Epic doing? If you would have invested that thousand dollars versus any one of these 15, and then he has a top 15 average. So we'll just compare Epic $1,000 as of Friday would be valued at almost $18,000 with almost a $17,000 uh, non-realized profit. So uh, that is a almost a 1,700% if you would have invested $1,000 in Epic Cash. So what's that mean? That means Epic Cash's price performance has, has been pretty darn amazing. When you think about the number two, the second strongest behind is Luna. And the thousand dollars, if you would have invested there, you would have uh, you would have 19, almost 2,000. So that's almost a hundred percent increase. So good for Luna. I mean, in everyday investing, my goodness, you put green money in the bank and you get a one percent, two percent, eight percent, ten percent return. Man, that's great. You get a 15% uh, return and you know you own a hedge fund, right? Well, we got just in the last few months a 1700% uh, uh, return on investment. And the average of the top 15, if you invested a thousand across all of them evenly, one fifteenth into each, your portfolio would be down 102 bucks or down 10.828%. So I was thinking about that. And then I was thinking about our friends over at the Crypto Vigilante and Enrique, he also does did started doing a deep dive into the Crypto Vigilante portfolio. And I was thinking about that. It was just bothering me yesterday. And I was just sitting there thinking about, you know, just, just getting mad frankly, just because I know that uh, uh, the crypto vigilante has single-handedly kept so many people from investing in epic cash because they because of their egos. Let me go back to a friend of mine uh, who says, uh, the more the knowledge, lesser the ego, the lesser the knowledge, the more the ego. So I want to take a deep dive right now into how expensive Rafael Laverde and his team over there at the Crypto Vigilante, how expensive, how, how much have their egos cost Crypto Vigilante 
uh, uh, members who pay 18, 800, I'm sorry, $800 uh, a year for their service. Now, uh, what, how, how do they attack Epic Cash? Well, uh, uh, anytime somebody types in Epic Cash in their Telegram chat, up pops a little silly, uh, silly bot that says, let us remember what Mr. X says about Epic Trash. Epic Cash Mimblewimble is nowhere nearly as fungible as Monero. So let's just go back here. Let's just go back here, guys. Let's go back here to this dude. And let's just kind of go over here. The less the knowledge, the more the ego. So that demonstration of lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge, and the evident tone is just a maximum ego that has cost their subscribers dearly. I want to show you how much. And this is the purpose of today's live stream. Let me go to the one that's the three month comparison because we also have a member of the Epic Cash community that is still a member over there. They gave us their last published portfolio. So Enrique went in there and he did a comparison, Epic Cash versus the TCV portfolio, went through the, the same experiment. Now he, he truthfully allocated the investment of like in XMR Monero, he took the actual percentage presented in the crypto vigilantes portfolio. So these are uh, these are fairly weighted, is what I'm saying about that uh, uh, about the thousand dollars that you, that you would uh, uh, the the thousand dollar thought experiment right over here. So 280 would have gone into XMR on the third of. And these are their prices. We went back, everything is based upon their prices back then. So on September 3rd, uh, at that snapshot, you could have gotten, per their percentage, you would have gotten $280 allocated to XMR, $200 to R, uh, and then the other, you they like, wow, BTC, BCH, BSV, and then uh, recently, a Darrow pick, XEQ, and ETH. Now, keep in mind, if you take a look at all of this red, you know, that's the greatest percentage of their portfolio. But uh, XEQ has been a pretty good hero for them, hero pick that kind of distorts all of this because you've got that 155% increase since then because of XEQ. But basically, if you compare Epic you could have, for that $1,000, gotten 3,125 coins, which today would be, we're rounding up here to $18,000. That's a $17,000 unrealized gain just since no, uh, uh, September 3rd. That's a 1,700% increase. You can go down any of these. Monero is down 37%. R ouch, it shouldn't be R, it should be ouch, is down 69%, okay? If you go down there and you, uh, uh, you, you look at Epic's portfolio in relation to BTC, which is critically important to do that, we are up 1,700%. So their portfolio is down 1,900%. So we've outperformed Bitcoin by 1,700%. And they have not outperformed Bitcoin. They're down 19%. So I'm going to stop my screen share. And uh, I want to give credit where credit is due to uh, the marketing leader of TCV for sure. And there's a little video here. It may be a little bit hard to, I'll try to increase the volume, but this is Jeff Berwick and shout out to Seapork. Uh, he pulled this together. It's a four minute video. We're just going to listen to it together uh, to where he's talking about his predictions of uh, XMR and R. And this is what you're paying for for your 800 bucks, guys. 
Let's go over here. Let's hit play. But of course, you know, what they're saying is any crypto transaction you do, and I, I do like hundreds a day, like just hundreds. in various ways with our company and myself, like oh, yeah. easily hundreds per day, like just whether it's trading or buying this, moving this, that kind of stuff. Maybe not hundreds, but dozens a day. At least, well, at least, yeah, 10, 20, 30 a day. Yeah. Like minimum. Yeah, just minimum. In, in general stuff, <laughs> including my company. Yeah. I guess if you my dick is real big. I mean, it's well, it's kind of big. In the hundreds, I mean, you know, it could be. It works. So anyway, we'd have to fill out paper, paperwork. Narrated like by Seaboard. Times a day. <laughs> Obviously, I would never do that. But that's if you're going to try to adhere to this law, you would. But what if you were using a crypto that no one could see was being transferred? <gasps> yeah, <laughs> might be one or two things like that. I'm trying to think of their names. Things like. Uh, Monero? Pirate drain? Uh, pirate chain, yeah. Ooh, down the drain. Yeah, so they wouldn't be able to attack that. They wouldn't even know who has it or if it's been transferred. I wonder how popular those will get as the government's trying to do more Ooh, and more of this. Stuff. I wonder. Yeah. Start it before, I'll say it again. And actually, our crypto vigilante guys just came out. I'll give you a bit of free information. Free? <laughs> you might see a couple of days here where it goes down a little bit. Just a couple of days. It's all taken off, and throughout this fall, it's probably going to skyrocket. Yeah. Everything. Well, things like Monero, currently 200. Uh, I think we're expecting a thousand by the end of this year. So, in like the next four months, it's going to go up to five times. Nice. Pirate chain, just take your guess on that one. This you know. Well, today's what? Lucy, December I 13, I think. Leave her alone. I know, but she's and uh, where, where is Monero today? It's almost to a thousand there, right? Isn't it? Come on, turd. Give us that pirate okay. drain prediction. I heard you talk about pirate chain though. Maybe let's, let's go and talk about pirate chain. I like that. More, pirate chain goes up. It make get more tacos. Where do you think it's going? Oh well, yeah. Know, Lucy, it's more tacos. And uh, I would not be surprised if it's around thirty dollars plus uh, by the end of the year, and possibly much higher. So ten times and it's close. <laughs> yeah. With most things, like everyone would go, this guy's crazy. Like <laughs> no one thinks does 10 times their money in four months. We do it all the time. So that way it gets oh, look at another cat. Hey, you wonder subscribers, how he does that? Hmm. And, uh, Watch your hard earned yeah. money. That sounds pretty good. And following so the advice of Turdick okay. and, uh, and little Lucy. Yeah, I find some more pirate chain myself. You guys yeah. can get super, so super rich. Or actually, actually you could give Turd your money. Give, I shouldn't say give. You've been swindled. You've been had. Anyway, I'm just going to check this cat out. But yeah, let's get going. Let's yeah, get let's get going. Get some tacos. Yeah, okay, get some tacos. Hey, Lucy just wants to send a thank you out to all you subscribers who invested in Dero on the coin pick day. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. We've got some chicken tacos going on here. Yeah. I'll take a little bit of that if you don't mind. Now my fraudster owner can give us human food all the time at your expense. Thanks, subscribers. Hey, <laughs> hey. You're so dumb. Hey, <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. Anyway, I'll send them some cash. Yeah, cash. Ha, ha, ha. Cash. Nice view. Paid for. So let's see. What are the TV subscribers? All right. Today, what? December 12th? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see uh, pork. Thank you for that. Uh, I saw that in a telegram chat this morning. And it was just kind of uh, crazy how things work out. Um, because I was gonna do this show that popped up. Now, thank you because that he's talking about how we do it all the time, how we 10 x your money all the time. And in there, let's go to another page. And this is a very important one. This is a very important one. Um, because what we're going to do, this is the, this is, this is how I arrive at, at how expensive are lies and how expensive is ego. Okay. We are not a Epic cash is not a privacy coin. It just happens to be a coin that has private transactions. So that's what they're all about. But for whatever lack of knowledge reason that they have, they take issue with the Mimble Wimble technology, which Todd Lewis has destroyed their arguments twice. You can find them down below. 
just go do your own work watch those one's gonna have a character of it looks like dr seuss i can't remember what the other one has but it has todd lewis in there but if you want to talk about mimble wimble there is a subject matter expert he is our lead tech okay so he was talking about how over by the end of the year so this was recorded interestingly about the time that uh we took this original snapshot so what was epic cash's price 32 cents okay what was uh let's see so that is now 576 so when he's talking about 10 xing that would take us to three three dollars and 20 cents but no we overshot that what is that almost 20 xing in the last four months yeah we do it all the time we do it all the time. We're such a shit coin. Mimble Wimble sucks, right? Mix X. And yet we're up uh, 1700 profit. We're up 1700%. Now, XMR, XMR, uh, he was talking about uh, their price 10Xing. And he said that, I mean, it's, it's, it's as of Friday, the price is hundred and ninety dollars he has a lot of work to do to get to that thousand end of year prediction thousand dollars but meanwhile tcv subscribers you're getting what you paid for uh you're down uh 37 percent in their portfolio are well at the time of the snapshot it was 315 he was saying that was going to 30x going to 30 bucks you just heard it his own words where are they now oh my goodness a dollar 29 as of friday so you're you're down your <laughs> your allocation in the, their portfolio is down 59 percent okay wow now here's the thing what this is is if they only provided a 10 percent allocation so Enrique went in there and he said, let's take that previous portfolio that we looked at, which basically just does not include uh, Epic. It just has like, instead of $200, it was $280 and uh, for, for XMR. And so basically he just, got, he grabbed $100 from just two coins, XMR and R, okay? So just with that, 10% allocation. If their ego, egos were not so huge that they would die on the hill of taking something that has superior tech, like Mimble Wimble, like Epic Cash, and instead of Epic trashing us all the time, well, you know what? Your portfolio, you wouldn't look like such fools. You wouldn't be down 22.91% like you are right now you would be up 151%. So if you're a TCV subscriber out there, why don't you go to Raphael, Mr. X, Ed Bugos, uh, 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 their, their, their Lord and marketing savior, uh, Jeff Berwick, and why don't you say, hey guys, get out of your own way, would you please? Would you please just kiss and make up with the Epic Cash community and maybe try to increase your knowledge and lower your ego? If you do that, we, as your paying subscribers, would be in a way better place. But no, you're going to hold on. You're going to hold on to your massive egos and you're not going to consider Epic Cash. Now, the right thing to do would be to reach out to me. You know how to find me. You can go to, to t.me uh, forward slash epic cash. You can find me in there. You know, I'm Uncle Vigilante in, in Telegram. And you can say, okay, we want to bring our peace pipe to the table. We want to have another conversation that's not contentious. Let's revisit this conversation. Let's just agree to agree to put our past differences behind us. And for the sake of your subscribers, why don't you 
get on a private Zoom call with us and ask all of the smart questions. Now, Max, uh, Max Freeman has already put out there that if you want to do a debate, a public debate, uh, he is willing to donate $5,000 worth of Epic to the charity of your choice, just to engage in a public debate. Now, my idea is, I think that's unnecessary. I really do, because what good comes from that? It just becomes a pissing match, right? It just, it, it, we're, we're, we're all there. There's a lot of people watching and it is just an unnecessary uh, UFC event, right? No, my suggestion and my invitation is to you is let's arrange for a private Zoom conversation. We'll get our smart people on the phone, on the call and your smart people. And let's go through Epic Cash and let's answer all of your questions. Whatever are your blockers to considering us as part of your portfolio so that you could now be in the green instead of the red, I think your subscribers, uh, you owe that to your subscribers. Not telling you what to do, it's your business. All I'm suggesting is that this is an olive branch. Let me just go off, uh, let me just stop sharing so I can look you in the eyes. This is an olive branch from our community to yours. And I think there is a place where one plus one equals 11. I've heard people say, and, and, and th I'm, ju I'm just, I don't know if this is the case or not, but I've heard people say or hypothesize that the reason why you don't want to consider Epic Cash is because you haven't taken an early position in it. So that by the time you announce it, you know, you would have to go out and acquire Epic Cash like we all do. It was a fair launch. There was no pre-mine. So the only way that you could, uh, you could, you could, you, you know, you would have to literally go in and buy it. And there are those who say that, like with Darrow, that you guys knew a long time ago when the pick was going to be. And so people like me just marched into that cell wall. And whether it's true or not, there's a lot of people who, 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 you know, reverse engineer it and believe it's the case that uh, you basically uh, used your subscriber base to be able to take profits off the table because you acquired it at a low number. Same with R. So that R, boom, you know what I'm talking about. So you have a lot of subscribers that unfortunately are way underwater, still holding the bag. Let's just write, let's correct the ship, man. Um, I'd love to put this behind us. I really would. I'm, I'm, I'm not that person, but, and, and honestly, I don't start fights, but I don't run away from them either. And, and, but I would like to put this behind us. So it is my invitation to you on this Sunday, the 12th, in front of God and both the communities and all of Telegram and all of YouTube, um, I invite you to a private Zoom meeting of the minds between our team and yours so that we may be able to do a better job than perhaps we've done of communicating, you know, our design, our tech, our vision, where we're heading. Maybe, maybe just maybe it might even impress you if we all leave our egos at the door. So that's my invitation to you. Um, I hope you take, I hope you take us up on that. If there are any TCV subscribers, please forward this to anybody in that community. Um, because what I have just done is I have shared that our price performance has been pretty extraordinary. And I don't, I don't believe it will stop um, for a hundred reasons that I have six months now of videos on YouTube giving week to week updates to where you can see why our project really does have the potential to hit our predictions. We can talk to you about those when we have our private private conference. You're still not you're not late to the game. I believe that everybody who acquires Epic Cash at under ten bucks 
is going to brag about it one day. And so I would love to be able to mend fences. And that is the purpose. That is the purpose of this, this video on a Sunday before my precious bucks, hopefully go kick, kick, kick uh, the Buffalo Bills back to the Northeast. Um, it's going to be like 84 degrees today. So I'm hoping the Buffalo Bills who are worth, worth <laughs> who are not used to that kind of, of heat and humidity. Uh, I hope that uh, by the fourth quarter, they just give up. Probably won't happen. But uh, seriously, Raphael, Mr. X, Ed Bugos, Jeff Berwick, please take advantage of this. Please, I'm extending a peace pipe. I'm extending an invitation um, so that you might be able to increase your knowledge on our project. And then look, uh, after that, if you still think that we're epic trash, then God bless America. That is your position and your stance and your portfolio is going to um, uh, be the tail of the tape. Uh, we're we're, we're going to be keeping track, uh, ju just a paired comparison. And um, But please, I hope you do take us up on this offer. Okay, look, that's all I wanted to share today. Appreciate you all. Thank you for your time. Go Bucks. Oh,